Welcome back, everyone. On days like today, when we're dealing with wet roads, we're really busy in the CTDOT Traffic Center, and our first responders are especially busy out on the roads. So we're lucky that they're here today. And this is all after an already beefed up patrol for Labor Day weekend. So joining me now to talk about holiday travel statistics, but more so how to deal with being out on the roads, especially during a super wet day like like today, is Sergeant Jaltimo with Connecticut State Police. We appreciate you being here. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, this was already pre-booked before this uh, weather event happened, but we knew it was coming. Yes. But unfortunately, uh, just adding insult to injury out there. Yeah, so we know right now, um, especially out in Troop H's area, East Hartford, we have a jackknife tractor trailer. So not only is the weather causing delays, but that's also causing delays getting into the city. And I think something really difficult is once you are, and that's why it's so important that people download the Fox 61 News app and things like that, is to know before you go. And I think something really uh, that we need to stress is take it slow out there. Yes, especially because the visibility is very low uh, with the rain and the fog and with the, the wet roadways. Uh, just be mindful that it's uh, a nasty out there and just drive slow, stay off your phones um, be, and watch the surrounding areas to make sure that you're not part of a hazard or get into an accident. Now let's quickly talk about Labor Day weekend sure. because we did see an enhanced number of uh, pullovers, of DUIs, things like that. Give us a little recap. So over the holiday weekend, uh, we had approximately 6,000 calls for service. So that could be anything from a stranded motorist, um, somebody who is just uh, needing some type of, of help from us. We responded to almost a uh, little over 300 accidents over the holiday weekend. We had close to 30 DUIs also. And that is something that we have talked about time and time again, that, uh, I mean, state police does a campaign about it. and. It is just not acceptable to get behind a wheel if you are impaired in any form. Correct, yes. So we are out there all the time looking for, uh, regardless if it's a holiday weekend, you know, we had over this weekend roving patrols and checkpoints set up looking for those that were operating under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. Uh, there are so many things out there that people can utilize, rideshare programs, Uber, Lyft, taxi cabs, designated drivers, or even staying at a location where they, they are consuming alcohol. Now, Sergeant Jaltima, let's circle back to the weather because yes. I-84 eastbound in East Hartford is currently closed to exit 55. We're seeing traffic trying to detour and go uh, kind of like the Silasteen Highway 91 over to Route 2. That yes. is the best detour at this point. But down in the New Haven area, we are seeing a lot of flash flooding. Mm. Julia LeBlanc has been live on scene where there are cars stranded, and there's also cars trying to brave through it. What is your message to them? Because we always say that, turn around, don't drown. It's just scary. Yes, yes. we encourage people to not go through the water, uh, whether they're walking or driving, to stop turn around, uh, figure out a different or an alternate route to use. Uh, we know if there's water, it's probably flowing, and that's when you could uh, potentially um, drown. Your car could be swept away. Uh, we ask people to call 911 if there are barriers up because there's a, ro a roadway that's closed. They're there for a reason, not to go around those barriers. Absolutely. We really appreciate you Thank being you. here. I know that state police is very busy today, mm -hmm. but we're not done with you. We have some good stories coming up, uh, coming up at 845. But for now, Matt, I'm going to send things over to you to continue this weather coverage right now. All right.